Hello Aquarians and Cross Watchers, welcome to your video. So I channeled a song by the Beatles and it's called Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Now before I get into uh, all that and the song and the reading, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. I want to thank you for being here and I want to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So, on a physical note, okay, um, Lucy is a saint for vision. And if you um, look at the physical aspect, protect your eyes, anything to do with your eyes, maybe a time for an eye exam, protect yourself with cataracts, protect yourself out on the water in the boat because it does talk about in the song, imagine a picture of yourself on a boat in the water or river, something like that. Anyway, anything to do with eyes, also third eye, okay, vision. So protect your eyes. Um, if you suspect you need an exam or anything like that, there's also that. Some of you might be needing to get, like I said, glasses, contacts, an eye exam, an upgrade in glasses. Um, and you might need something, uh, even maybe maybe some of you are getting some Lasix or some sort of or cataract surgery, just anything, but protect the eyes, okay? Um, the other thing is, you know, maybe there's something in the lyrics of the song that relates to you, okay? Um, and it could have to do with also some sort of third vision. Someone might be out on a boat thinking about you, or maybe you have very beautiful eyes and someone's thinking about your eyes. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. I'll leave the rest, the discretion to yourself. All right, I'm going to say a quick prayer and then we'll get right into the reading. Our Father in heaven, I want to thank you for the many blessings that you've given to each and every one of us here. I also want to ask for protection for ourselves and our loved ones from harm, illness, evil eye, whatever we need protection from. And I also want to ask that you help those who are suffering in the world, whatever they're suffering from, there's so much suffering going on. Please help those to get through these tough times. I also want to ask for permission to be able to see what it is I'm allowed to see so that I can give the highest, most divine messages. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I'm going to be starting off with Wisdom of the Oracle. I see here change, an observer. You might notice things are changing, okay? Um, I'm going to be using the Cozy Tarot deck and the Light Seers. I'm going to close out with Archangel Messages. Show me what I need to see for the Oracle part. What do I need to see for the Oracle part of this reading? Thank you and thank you. All right. And as we talk about the boat and the water and someone literally <laughs> thinking, okay, it looks like someone's thinking or possibly um, trying to figure something out. Someone might be looking at something. It could be an artist drawing a sketch. But we have here vision. We have these binoculars and we have a direction. Maybe someone's third eye is clearing up and maybe someone is able to have clarity and vision on what their next um, move needs to be here. But there's a lot that this I can identify with this because, you know, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. So there's something going on here about vision strong vision not necessarily just in the physical sense of maybe you know needing an eye exam but vision as far as third eye and knowing which direction to go because this vision and which way to go is what i'm strongly strongly guided to here now what came out here right side up we have a leg up so this might be um, getting some sort of help to go into a new direction or maybe you're in a position to help someone else because we do see here this is like a parent child. This is a leg up. This is an older soul helping a younger soul, or this is a larger soul helping a smaller soul, however you want to look at it, okay? Um, but there is a leg up. Now, that's 34, that card, which turns to 7, which is the chariot in, in the tarot, and it might be happening soon. You might be helping someone out. Someone might be helping you out, or it might be an opportunity to get some sort of improvement done in your life because it, it's like a helping hand okay really it's like a it's like a helping hand so you can get a helping hand from anyone whether uh, it's a person that you know or don't know right 
and you know with the chariot like i said going the distance this is pretty fast all right it's the cheetah fastest animal on the planet and we have 47 which turns to 11 so uh i got chariot vibes with that something coming in really quick again we have the beach and the ocean somebody might literally just be you know out in the sun or out in the in the boat getting some sort of clarity third eye might be opening okay moving toward a better place or moving towards something where it's like the vision becomes crystal crystal clear like this water you can really see through the water you can see the turtle um the fin here or I, i'm not sure what you call it it's not really a fin but anyways you can see the clarity and we have the star here and star all over this and hearts the well, star is aquarius and in, in um in tarot so and we have the heart so i feel that somebody becomes very clear when it comes to you and their feelings and because of that it's an unfinished symphony we have card 10 which 10 is endings and if there is any uh if someone hasn't spoken what they want to say i feel that's coming to an end and we have yin here which is divine feminine energy so somebody um it's unfinished business for some for some of you who are in the divine feminine energy it's unfinished business with you and another uh individual okay things are going to get to a better place so let me get into the tarot and let's see what really wants to come out just drawn to the the ten of cups here the rainbow um I think you're really going to align, and I mean, I've been picking this up, but I think you're really going to align with somebody on your wavelength, on your frequency, likes the same things that you like. Show me what I need to see for this reading. Keep in mind, if you're a cross-watcher, the roles can be reversed, okay? I'm just reading the energy on and around this frequency, okay? Keep in mind, even if you're not an Aquarian and you are on this frequency, Everybody on this frequency will relate, Aquarian or not. Everyone on this frequency will relate. Show me what I need to see here. This is sideways. It's the Leo card. It's a card of strength, okay? And um, it's sideways. So there's something possibly in the process with a Leo or about gaining strength to do something. Let's clarify it. And we had the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Now here we have this. It's a decision. And we have another 10 here. 10 of Swords. So um, someone might be trying to gain the confidence even. Okay. Someone might be trying to gain the confidence to come in. Clarify the Strength card for me. six of swords reverse so this is like a stuck energy i feel like someone's really trying to gain the confidence to come in because queen of swords is on the bottom and the queen of swords is a person you have to come in correct because the queen of swords can see bs a mile away the queen of swords can see if you're if you're if you're lying or not so this is a person who's like look i know i gotta come in correct okay um but i'm stuck because has a lot to do with confidence i feel someone really is not sure i feel how to approach you that's really what i want to say that's the right fit because you got to approach her the right way or him the right way whoever's in this energy needs to be approached the right way um and i think someone's not really sure of how to approach all right not sure of how to approach you what's another aspect here and we have sideways again we have healing four of swords so someone i think somebody wants to heal things i think somebody may want to even have a conversation have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation possibly apologize possibly it's a virgo or someone that it's been a long time you haven't seen them we have the four ones reverse so it's like an energy of really trying to gain their strength gain their confidence to come in say what they want to say they feel a little bit i heard frozen they feel a little bit frozen or stuck, but they do want to heal things, or maybe they're in the process of healing things too, okay? Maybe they're the ones that are having an issue and they're trying to heal it if it's confidence or whatnot. Tell me about that. Four of Swords, well, that hit the ground. 
three of pentacles. So maybe this is somebody that you used to work with or be in a, some sort of small community or small group with or someone used to be part of a team, work as a team, some kind of way. Um, because in this it's interesting, there's two people on one side of the table here and then there's another person over here. So it's like in, in some way you guys um, were, were part of some sort of team. All right, some sort of collaborative team effort. Maybe you don't see them, they don't see you. I don't know, it could have been a workplace or something like that. But the whole thing is now someone's really trying to gain the confidence to come in and say something. Maybe it's someone you worked with and, and maybe they had stronger feelings and they just never really said it or whatnot. Um, but it could be a small community because that's what it is um, where you guys work together in harmony and it can be like small like a small uh, community living quarters living place or something like that most often it's like a place of work or focus or, or or a place where you might be even learning something someone sometimes is an apprentice there we have the king of cups in the reverse for the root, the three of wands in the upright, that's expecting, and ten of swords. Okay. Um, possibly, maybe somebody thought they was going to hear from you again, or vice versa. Maybe you thought you was going to hear from somebody because this person in this three of wands is, you know, someone who's expecting something. But either way, to expect something, you have to send something out into the universe. And somebody here is literally sent out into the universe um possibly thoughts about you and them or vice versa there's been thoughts sent out about this it's like somebody was like say i would love to speak again with this person you know aquarius or whatnot i would love to speak with this person um it's been a long time that we haven't spoke i feel sort of frozen and stuck though but then again if i don't put myself out there you know, it's going to be a ten of swords either way. If they was expecting you to reach out and communicate, if you were expecting them to reach out and communicate, it's like both of you got a ten of swords because nobody's communicating. So it also puts in some sort of confidence issue of like, well, they haven't reached out to me. They probably don't care about me, like me, move on from me, don't think about me no more. And vice versa, the other person could be thinking the same thing. But we have this water energy scorpio cancer pisces and it might be a person who hasn't said anything who's like well maybe i need to say something if i don't put myself out there and say something then i'm not gonna know it's like if i say nothing it's gonna be a bad ending so let me just i feel like it's gonna go in the direction where someone's gonna say something tell me um well let me clarify that first i'm getting ahead of myself yeah, I see the two of wands here on the bottom of the deck. Someone is really trying to figure out you know, which which direction to take. Give me a card for this. Root. Yeah, seven of pentacles, reverse. Someone's about ready to stop wasting time. All right, someone's about ready to stop wasting time here. Um, someone's possibly been waiting for the right time as well, and it's just like... Uh, you know and confidence i feel like the right time is when this person gets their confidence to come in and say what it is that they want to say let's not forget they know they have to come in the correct way they just can't come in and say it any kind of way um it's got to be genuine it's got to be truthful and it's got to be from the heart because the queen of swords energy is going to pick up on it right away if it's not and it's like there's a person here who doesn't want to waste any more time they really want to put their self out there uh they want to say something to you. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. What's the recent past? What's the recent past? It just shows strongly. I mean, you know this person. Um, you could have worked with them, collaborated with them, but it's like they want to say something and they don't, they really don't know. I feel really strongly they're trying to build up their confidence. King of Swords and Reverse. That's Aquarian Energy. It's Air Energy and the Eight of Pentacles. All right. So this is interesting because the recent past is 
we have focus and we have king of swords reverse so i feel like you're not even aware that this person is focused on you okay some of you might be tarot readers like me okay high priestess is right here and then we have someone here in this um card right below that tarot reader we have so we have a high priestess and then we have literally here the devil card but it's different this is like a person who is aware of something they've drinking all of their drink they drank all of their wine these two over here are conversing still have wine and it's like somebody is watching maybe something you've said or intuitively there's something going on maybe you have triggered somebody intuitively to go through some sort of I don't have an awakening card, but that's just what I want to say. Turn a new leaf. Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like maybe somebody has inspired someone here to turn a new leaf, to be a better person, is what I want to say. Anyway, let's get another, let's clarify it. So the recent past, Aquarius is in the reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles is in the upright. So why is Aquarius in the reverse? justice and the reverse so this might be a person who feels like you have not gotten a fair shake at something um, again we have this queen of swords in the upright we have this page of cups reverse and this is a person maybe earth energy that may want to reach out but they know they know they can't reach out unless they say something they keep coming up here's the page of cups reverse it's very hard for someone to say what they want to say very hard for someone to say what they want to say it's going to take a lot of probably strength to come out and say this. The justice is reversed. That is Libra energy. It is also like a verb. It's an action. But I feel that you're unaware is what I want to say. You're unaware of an action that is coming toward you or you're unaware of an action that someone is focusing on you. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. landed on the stuck landed on six of swords reverse nine of cups reverse you know i did see that toxic card here this cup is empty i'm maybe there's somebody maybe you're helping someone to be a better person by not drinking okay or not using some sort of substance because the nine of cups reverse can be an overindulgent card all right and maybe you're unaware that you have triggered someone to do better or vice versa here um, if you're an Aquarian who's watched someone else be successful at you know um, getting off something that was um, too much excess and excess that was toxic for them then this would be you but if 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 you're not that person if you're not getting off of some sort of toxins or something you're not you're not following somebody to uh, better yourself like that this could be someone who has looked at you maybe as an example maybe something you've said directly to them or maybe you're a tarot reader or maybe you're um you know somehow they watch you and they've seen something you've accomplished or they want to follow your uh, example okay something strong about that um, you wouldn't be aware of that at all that this person wants to follow your example that this person wants to focus on um, correcting some of these things in their life you know all right tell me about what crowns this let's see we've got some sort of depression here sadness and regret on the bottom we have the King of Wands in reverse, which is a Leo, Aries, Sag energy. We have an Eight of Swords in reverse. So what crowns this is some sort of release, all right? Maybe someone is sad and regretful if they released you, or maybe you're sad and regretful if you have released someone because it is a Five of Cups. There is a sadness and a regret over releasing, releasing. Okay, Eight of Swords reverse, possibly 
and 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 not pursuing anymore with this king of wands the energy would be not to pursue so i feel that's what it's saying someone's in sadness and regret over not pursuing possibly not pursuing you or maybe you are over not pursuing somebody tell me about this like i said by the storyline you'll know if it's your story and if it does relate you'll know where you fit you'll know if you were the one pursuing or if or if someone quit pursuing you. A lot of times I read your comments and you guys were the ghosted. So that would be the person quit pursuing you. But just keep it in mind. There are some of you who are Leos who are watching. And the Aquarians stop pursuing you. So it's that's why I say you'll know where you fit. Okay. Alright. Give me a card to clarify. Alright. Death and rebirth in the reverse. And we have this karmic energy. Um, we have a... Le we have... <laughs> Queen of Wands reverse, King of Wands upright, and we have this doing nothing. So there is there's something here. This can talk about confidence or literal fire sign. This can also talk about uh, confidence or gaining confidence and having that action behind it, also a fire sign. But right here, it's not. I do feel strongly someone's trying to gain their confidence, all right, which would be some sort of transformation that happens within them. And here is Earth energy. And we did have night energy before, right? I think so. I'm not sure. But anyways, we do have a King of Pentacles in reverse. And that talks about stability. Okay. Whether it's finances, emotional, you know, um, I shouldn't say emotional, but whatever sort of stability within themselves. Okay. Or their physical being, they need to get more grounded. And we have the death and rebirth, which that's, um, we have uh, Scorpio here. And then we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn right here. So there's there's a person who is in regret. Could be an earth sign. Could be a water sign. Because I have Scorpio twice. I think I've got Virgo a couple of times. Um, and I've got Libra and stuff. Whatever. But it could be a person who is trying to change something in their life. Maybe they're trying to cut out some sort of uh, toxic substance. That they've been on some sort of trajectory. Where they've overindulged too much. And it's got them off their path in life. Maybe they're not financially stable. Maybe they're not physically grounded. Maybe they're trying to change from whatever it is. Because let's not forget. They know they got to come in correct. They know they got to come in correct. But I just heard. Spirit just told me. And I don't know who needs to hear this. But this person. Whoever is trying to come in correct. Trying to gain their strength. This is a person I feel who's trying to do a lot of this alone and they can't. This is a type of situation they really need help. They need support and they need help. This is like an alcoholic trying to quit drinking, but they still got to be around people who drink. How does that work? You got to cut off everyone who drinks. You can't be around it, period. If, you, if there's an alcoholic, they can't be around anybody that drinks. Because just like... Even something that symbolizes alcohol can trigger them. The smell. They can smell alcohol like much further than anyone else because they all fiend for it. It's like that type of situation. It is a situation where someone needs, to, needs the help to get off something. And someone is trying to go toward the other person as a healed person and come in correct. But it's like they're still... It's hard. Like they're battling it on their own and it's really hard. It might be taking longer for this transformation for them. What's the near future? And that was, I was just guided to say that, okay? That's what I heard. Download. Page of Swords. And again, death. Death is reversed twice. They might be trying, to, I told you, they're trying to do this on their own. They're trying to get some sort of self-help or something to get help for themselves. And it's really hard. It's not really working. Um, and, you know... King of Pentacles reverse is like someone might be trying to get self-help because they can't afford to get professional help. But it also could be because somebody doesn't want anyone else knowing their problems either. Someone doesn't want to, it's like if nobody else sees that this person, for example, is an alcoholic, this person isn't trying to tell nobody they're an alcoholic. They're trying to just fix the problem on their own, but they really need help. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be alcohol. It can be alcohol, it can be meth, it can be eating disorders whatever but they need help is what i'm saying they can't this is um a little bit bigger than them just handling it on their own and they're trying i feel to be a better person to come towards you you meaning the, the one who's watching here 
and now the Page of Cups is in the upright. They really have something to say to you. They really have something to say to you, and it's important. And it's from the heart. Maybe they're trying to tell you that they're trying to change, and it's so hard. It is a conversation, though. We got the Page of Pentacles, and we got the Page of Cups. It's a very heartfelt, heart to heart conversation. Tell me about the self. Tell me about the self. Okay, like I, I got kind of like what I just said the moon. The moon. This person's writing down things, but this is reverse. I feel um, this person is going to find themselves in a position where they're going to have to tell everybody um, basically what I just said. They're going to have to come out and tell everybody look, I've been doing this in excess and I've gotten off track. I, it's, I'm out of control with it. Okay, and I need help. And being around you guys, see everybody here has a lit candle. And it's like being around everybody here, you know, this lit candle can just as easily be a drink or a food or, or a drug in their hand. And it's like saying, I can't um, accomplish this goal while being around you guys doing, doing this around me. I can't do it. So I do feel that there's, a, there's someone who's going to say this. They might say it to you I don't know but I I'm telling you I'm on to something I'm not because look they they all got candles in this hand and this person trades in this person tells these people I can't be around you no more because this is my weakness and you guys are all part of what my weakness is I'm gonna go be around people like me and you see how these people have cupcakes I'm not saying cupcakes are healthy but if um, you know if, if this was alcohol this is a lot better you know but it's just an analogy okay it's just an analogy that's all it's just easier to use alcohol as an analogy but they trade in that for a better group of people now I think that's where you and this person align because either this person's better for you or you're better for this person or you're better for each other right tell me about Tell me about that five of wands and that moon reverse. That's Pisces energy. Yeah. They are moving away from people like that. These are people they love too. And there are some people who are in the house or they have to leave the house or something like that. It's a decision that they've made, but I'm telling you it aligns them with you. The lovers, Gemini energy. And they have to move away from this. Four of wands reverse, ace of cups reverse. Because it's like, it's like whatever they're overindulging in is getting in the way of their life, of the things they love and the people they love. They've got to separate from that. And they've decided to do that. But maybe, like I said, you and this person are actually good for each other. You're good for each other's habits. You're going to have healthier habits. Um, they're not going to be toxic. And you're in, in that way, you guys are going to help each other. At least one of you is helping the other, right? This is what this is about. It's a helping card. All right. What's the environment? So I feel you guys are going to really help each other. Knight of Wands. The environment is going, going to be go time. Remember up here, the Knight of Wands was reversed, okay? This person was trying to change on their own, trying to get better on their own. I feel that they align with you and that... Like I said, you being the one who's watching. But anyway, I feel they align with you. And it's someone gets the strength to do this. Because the other person does not indulge in that toxic stuff. Toxic behavior. The other person, it's like one person has some really good habits and regimens. And the other person's trying to come on board with that. But they've got to leave those old people and patterns behind. So it's go time. The environment's go time. And literally, this person's sneaking out the window. They're holding that flame and they're holding that cup. They might come to some realization. Imagine that's like a cup and, of alcohol right there. And they're, they're looking at it. And there's something within them that says it's now or never. I'm either going to stay stuck being this on this toxic loop or I'm going to break away. It's like a moment of truth. It's now or it's never. And I feel it's a serious point for that person because there's a door to this house that they're in. There's probably two or three doors and they're going out the window. Why is that? 
Um, so this person, I feel a lot of people don't know this person has this problem. There could be someone who knows, but I feel a lot of people don't know this person has a problem. And we have the hermit on the bottom here, which is Virgo energy. It's someone who spent a lot of time alone thinking about this. But I do feel that it aligns because of that. You two are aligning. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. They're, I feel that they're just going to... They might even come out real quick to say something to you. This Knight of Wands is different than your usual Knight of Wands. They could be a Sagittarius. They could be a younger energy. Like I said, you have a, a, a younger energy, an older energy, or a smaller energy, a larger energy. Someone could be... Someone could come out to connect with you all right and maybe some you've done something you've accomplished something or and it's really hard like to connect how did you do this can you help me do this i'm in over my head here they might escape everyone just to come and talk and i do see the knight of wands again here but it's in the reverse they might slip away from their family for a bit to come and see you so i don't know that's just, I don't even know why they would have to do that, but whatever. Okay, so again, we have Virgo Gemini energy. They're going through some sort of cycle in their life that's ending. All right, they've learned some major, major lesson, and they're on the precipice of a new beginning, or you are. Either way, you align with another person, and somebody is literally helping the other person in some kind of way. Like I said, I believe you're going to help each other in some way. You might need help in one area, and they need help in another area. And you have strengths where they have weaknesses. And they have strengths where you have weaknesses. Because we do have the strength card sideways. Someone is manifesting, trying to talk, trying to travel to you even. This person, it, it, this is a travel card. Someone really wants to talk with you, figure out a way that they can come in real quick and say something. Okay? That's the environment. They haven't been able to do that. They're stuck or there's something that's in between them being able to come out. I don't know if it, it could be confidence. Okay. Or timing. Tell me about the hope and the fear. Tell me about the hope and the fear. Queen of Pentacles. The witch is in. One thing I feel like they're hoping that you're there. Um, what if they reach out and you're not there? You don't answer the door. You don't answer the phone. There's something to that. So there's a fear about, you know, are you going to be there? Because this person's like, you know, we have two, we have a street sign here, two of swords. You know, maybe they don't know where to even find you or, or, or to locate you. Like I said, this is not a person you see every day. Maybe they're hoping to find you somewhere. Tell me about that. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Oh, that's too much. We're not doing that. Okay. They might come to your house, literally. Ten of Pentacles or where you hang out. Because they have to say what they need to say. Or they might want to come around when there's no um, water sign around. But I have to also say... I heard spouse, so I have to say spouse because I heard it. So they might be trying to figure that out too. All right, what's the outcome looking like here? And it doesn't mean, um, I know a lot of people's mind go to spouse, so why do they want to come around when the spouse is not around? Let's keep in mind, this person doesn't want people to know um, a lot of things. Okay, and one of the things this person doesn't, because you've not seen this person, so it's not even about an affair, but it's like maybe they don't want to bring, bring problems to you, or maybe you don't want to bring problems to them. It's something like that. Um, you know, I don't want to disrupt the family. I'm also not trying to um, talk about this in front of anyone else either. So there's that element, I feel. Tell me what the outcome is like for those who resonate. Keep in mind, free will is always... The number one. Well, we have the Nine of Swords reverse. I like that. We have another card. Nine of Swords is here in the reverse. 
Queen of Cups, and Two of Pentacles. This person is going to realize once they reach out to you, we have, I feel that you're going to be in the Queen of Cups energy, and I always often um, compare the Aquarius star card to the Queen of Cups. They're very similar to me, and the fact that um, it's a lot of loving energy from the self and loving energy that goes out to the world, where Aquarius takes care of themselves and takes care of the earth. The Queen of Cups takes care of herself and takes care of the people around her or him, whoever it is. So I always, to, those, to me, those cards relate to me a lot. This is a person who's going to be like, I was worried over nothing. This person is going to reach out. Um, they're very worried about reaching out to you. They're very worried if they're, if it's going to, if you're going to, if they're going to say the right thing, if they're going to, uh, be re you know equally reciprocated if it's going to be any sort of rejection because over here like I said they're 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 worried they're trying to build up confidence but once this person does reach out it seems like you have a very loving response um, and it does seem like this person is going to be like I don't know <laughs> uh, I don't know why it took me so long to come to this conclusion here but I want to clarify it anyway clarify that Queen of Cups. That's water energy. Queen of Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Two of Wands, Reverse. So it's saying somebody thought it was going to be the type of response here that was a Queen of, uh, queen of Pentacles, Reverse. We have a Queen and a King of Pentacles in the Reverse, and we have the Two of Wands. Someone may... Um, think that the other person was stuck in a situation okay someone may also they just weren't stable okay they they didn't have the the physical stability whatever that was their physical they weren't physically stable and it's just like somebody is going to be like i don't know why I wasted so much time and thought I was worried over nothing because this is Nine of Swords Reverse. Give me a card for that. Yeah. Knight of Swords Reverse. Knight of Swords and Nine of Swords Reverse. This is someone who thought you were going to bite their head off. And this is someone who's like, I, you know, I, I was worried over nothing. You're very loving toward me. You're very kind. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Probably somebody thought there were no second chances. Okay, yeah, we have. This is could be a younger person. Um, for some of you, it could be a kid. But for some of you, this is like a younger person who is ascending and growing. Okay, um, whatever. There was some sort of harsh ending. I don't know if it was a harsh ending at some point with you and this person. Or I don't know if they went through a harsh ending. Um, because they're trying to let something toxic go in their life but they do let it go and start over we have the eight of swords reverse we have the ace of wands upright so um, they do make the decision all right to release whatever is toxic in their life to start over and that's where your journey and their journey begin because um, I feel like you're good for this person or this person is good for you either way I'm going to close out with some advice I'm going to say you guys are good for each other. I do feel like they are strong where you might be weak and vice versa. You know, that's a balance. They do appear younger. Possibly. All right. This landed on the Ace of Cups. And it says someone new is coming. So an important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. So it doesn't seem like it's anyone you've been in a relationship with. But it seems like you've worked with this person. You've spoken to or collaborated with this person. You know them some kind of way, but you haven't been in a relationship. But this person and you, it seems like you're going to come together in some kind of fashion here. It's a new person. Anyway, guys, I love you. Thank you for showing up to the video and the chat. And namaste, my friends.